I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Rebs, today is May 9th, 2018. I'm Hunter Mackey. And I'm Kaylee Stoddard. Today we're bringing you the latest school news and news around the AV. This, this is, is the, the Quartz Hill Update. update. To start off the show, let's check the weather around Lancaster with Kyle. Hey Rebs, my name is Kyle Nahar, and this is your 7 day forecast. On Tuesday, May 9th, we're going to have a, uh, a high of 94 and a low of 65. On Wednesday, we're going to have a high of 94 and a low of 60. Thursday, a high of 89 and a low of 60. Friday, we're going to have a high of 83 and a low of 56. Saturday, a high of 84 and a low of 56. A Sunday, we're going to have a high of 87 and a low of 60. And Monday, we're going to have a high of 88 and a low of 60. It's going to be a really hot week, so make sure you wear sunscreen and get in some shade. Back to you, Kaylee. Thank you so much, Kyle. Here are the school announcements. Hey, all girls interested in basketball for the 2018-2019 school year, you can pick up a packet from room 231. Training will begin June 5th, 2018. Just remember, you must be cleared by athletics. There will be a UCLA presentation for juniors on Wednesday, May 16th. Stop by the College and Career Center to sign up. Summer is just around the corner, Rebs, and what better way to celebrate than a nice, fruity Jamba Juice smoothie? Come out to the main quad at lunch any day this week and buy a $10 Jamba Juice gift card for yourself or for a friend. We hope to see you there. Seniors, tomorrow is the last day to purchase grad night tickets. Please go by the student store or accounting window to buy your tickets. Hey Rebs, do you love art? The Chalk Art Contest is coming soon. Applications are available in room 102 and are due May 17th. The contest will be held from May 21st through May 24th. Judging will be on May 25th. Hope to see your incredible chalk art. Hey, have you ever wondered what the school will be like in a few more years? Yes, I have, but I have no idea what it will be like. Well, one of our crews asked the principal on his ideas. Let's check it out. Competitive game. Sure, man, why not? I mean, there are already other sports teams. I don't see why they shouldn't uh, allow talented esports players to uh, get some money to do what they're good at. If so, or, yeah. should they be seen as highly as other types of scholarships? Let's see, I believe that, uh, I don't know, should they be seen this highly? That's a, that's a weird question, I guess, um, I mean, maybe if, like, uh, if, you're, if you're comparing them to sports players, obviously, they're different skill sets, so it depends on what you look up to and what you consider as being worthy of looked up to. With the increase of technology-based scholarships and college-funded programs, do you think the standard ways of getting to college will ever go away or become less used? The standard way of college, as in sports or uh, not standard, but like um, like sports or educational, rather than technology like uh, esports. I don't. I don't think that the, the quote standard way of college is uh, going to go away with esports being introduced as just another way to get into college. There, there will always be people who get in based on their academics and what we consider standard right now. Thank you. Thank you. That was esports. We will be right back after this quick break. Wrong toppings? Delivery boy ran late? It shouldn't be this hard to get a good pizza. And it doesn't have to be. Not when you go to Papa Kirby's. The only pizzeria in America that doesn't deliver, cook, or assemble. You do. 
Who can you trust for better quality food and service than yourself? Exactly to your liking, and always on time. Papa Kirby's Pizza Bayou for... Don't mess with chairs. <laughs> Don't chair if you care. Welcome back, Rebs. Hey, Hunter, do you know why teddy bears are never hungry? I don't know. Why are teddy bears never hungry? Because they're always stuffed. <laughs> nice one. Here's some announcements. 56 years after having organized the Olympic Games, the Japanese capital will be hosting a summer edition for the second time, from July 24th to August 9th, 2020. The Games in 1964 radically transformed the country. According to the organizers of the event in 2020, the Games of the Olympiad of the modern era will be the most innovative ever organized and will rest on three fundamental principles to transform the world. Striving for your personal best, accepting one another, and passing on a legacy for the future. Hey seniors, are you getting ready to go to AVC? They are currently taking applications for this summer and it starts June 11th. AVC has deadlines for students to apply and receive a priority enrollment appointment. Students who apply after the deadline must wait until open enrollment to register. Students who will be enrolled in high school and college during the same term may complete the online application, but will have to obtain additional admission forms found in the admission and records webpage. A hold will be placed on your record until all admission forms have been reviewed and approved by AVC. That puts her up on this show, but join us again next week for our school news and weather. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm Hunter Mackey. And I'm Kaylee Stoddard. See, See you, you all next week. week. This, this has been, been the Court Sale Update. update.